Hello friends, in this video, we will read the temperature and humidity values from the DHT22 sensor and we will send these values to the ThinkSpeak server. We will complete this video in two parts. In the part 1, we will simply read the temperature and humidity values and in the part 2, we will send these values to the ThinkSpeak server. ThinkSpeak provides a platform where you could analyze and visualize your IoT data. So now let's start with our project. So let's start with the hardware requirements of our project. So we'll be needing Node MCU development board, one DHT22 temperature sensor, one breadboard, few jumper wires and one 4.7K ohm register. Now let's talk in brief about the DHT22 pins. So DHT22 sensor has four pins. From the left hand side, the first pin is VCC. It works very well with the 3.3 volt. The second pin from the left hand side is data pin. The third pin is NC. We are not going to use it. And the fourth pin is ground. Now let's talk about the schematic of this project in brief. So from the node MCU, we have connected 3.3 volt, which is connected to the breadboard and further this 3.3 volt is available in the entire row of breadboard. Similar way, we have connected the ground from the node MCU to the breadboard and the ground is available in, in the entire row of breadboard. So this one is the DST22 sensor on the right hand side. Uh, the first pin is the ground, which is connected to the ground of the breadboard. Second one is NC, we are not going to use it. The third one from the right is data pin and this one is connected to the D2 of node MCU board. Further with this pin, we have connected one 4.7K ohms resistor. This is a pull-up resistor. So from here, we have connected a wire to the positive of the breadboard. And the last pin from the right is VCC. This is connected to the VCC of the breadboard. So this is in brief about the schematic of our project. Now open the VS code and open the platform IO homepage on the VS code. Click on new project. Now let's give the project a name. Let's call it DHT22 underscore ThinkSpeak. Now let's search for the board node MCU and choose node MCU 1.0. Let the framework be Arduino and click on finish. Now click on the libraries. Under the registry tab, search for DHT sensor library Adafruit. Now you need to look for DHT sensor library, which is right here. Click on it. Just take the mouse over the install and click on install 2. Now from the right hand side under the global storage drop down click on your project which is project slash DHT22 underscore ThinkSpeak. Now the difference between these two is if you choose global storage these libraries will be available in the global location where all the projects on your system will be able to access those libraries. On the contrary if you choose your project these libraries will be available only to your project. Now click on install and the library is installed for your project. To make sure that the library is installed, expand this particular folder from the left hand side and you will see DHT sensor library available under this particular folder. Now the current version of DHT sensor library is 1.3.0 and from this version onwards, this library has the dependency on some other library. So we need to install that as well. Click on libraries again under the registry tab. Search for Adafruit underscore sensor. You need to look for Adafruit unified sensor. This is the library on which we have the dependency. Click on it. Similar way, click on install to. From the right hand side, choose your project and click on install. So the library is successfully installed. And you can find it in the folder from the left hand side. Now we need to make entries for these two libraries in the platform io.ini file. Open platform io.ini file and right here make an entry for lib underscore deps and the names of our libraries are defined in the line number 19 and 20. We have also defined the monitor underscore board which is to change the default board rate. Now click on the source and open main.cpp file. This is where we need to write our code. So I have quickly pasted some piece of code here. We have included the DST file. 
we have defined the DST pin as 4 because as per the schema our pin is connected to D2 and the GPIO pin for D2 is 4. Further we have defined DST type DST22 because we are going to use the DST22 sensor. The instance of DST takes two arguments. One is DST pin and the other one is DST type. Now let's start with the rest of the code. Under the method setup, let's write serial dot begin and we need to pass the baud rate as double one five to double zero. Next we need to say DST dot begin. Now inside the loop method, let's define the delay as 2000 milliseconds, which is equivalent to two seconds. Now let's define float h is equal to dht dot read humidity. This will return the humidity in percentage. Next, we will get temperature value in Celsius. Float t is equal to dht dot read temperature. Next, let's get the temperature in Fahrenheit. Float f is equal to dht dot read temperature and we need to pass true as a parameter. Now here true means we are looking for the temperature value in the Fahrenheit. If we don't pass anything it will take the default value as false and it will return temperature in the Celsius. Next I have quickly pasted the if condition to confirm that the values of the variables h, t and f are numbers. Is nan is a method where NAN stands for not a number. So if the value passed in this method is not a number, it will return true. So friends, we will take a break here and we will continue from here in our next video. Before you leave, I would request you to please like the video and subscribe my channel. After you subscribe, do click the bell icon to get the notifications about my latest videos. Thank you so much.